Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today I wanted to talk about all the different supplies I used every single month and how it pertained to my no buy and what I learned, my major takeaways. So January, I used one colored pencil in dark green, and I didn't have any backups. I don't have any other dark green colored pencils. In doing so, and in just using this monochromatically, it caused a ton, ton of anxiety. I will tell you this, if you start to feel anxious while you're creating, it does not help your illustrations any. It doesn't help your mindset going into a no buy. I would say end the year monochromatically with your one-off supply. Don't start the year that way. In February, I used an art supply I purchased a couple years prior, but hadn't opened, hadn't swatched, hadn't used. These are the General's uh, Chalk Pastel Pencil. They are very much a low student grade quality pencil. I knew I was going to use them this year. I should have swatched them first and tried them. They're patchy, they're scratchy. It's not for me. Um, it was so discouraging trying to get these to create portraits that I almost gave up on my no buy. I really didn't want to go forward. I really didn't want to do this. Make sure the quality of your supplies is where you want to be creating at or what you want to move forward with your long-term goals. Make sure you swatch everything you own going into a no buy. Unless it's a product you've used prior or you're familiar with that company. Now in March, because February was so kind of frustrating for me, I went back to my two favorites. This is the Schmincke Hoodrum Aquel watercolors. This is the Faber Castell Polychromos and a Micron pen. I did Endangered Animals. And using your favorite supplies can renew enthusiasm and motivation. I used a sketchbook I'd never used before. I make sure to pair things that kind of spice things up that keep things interesting, and that's the key. You wanna keep it interesting for yourself month after month after month so you don't give up. In April, oh gosh, I have to keep these. Um, I used tons of supplies, and every page I used a different art supply, but the one I wanna talk about is the acrylic paints. Now, I hadn't used these acrylic paints in five, maybe six years. And doing that was such a fun sort of memory going back to when I used to create every single day with acrylics. Have some things in your stash, in your art supply cabinet or wherever you store your products that can, that brings back positive memories. Because this is, this whole low buy, no buy is so tightly attributed to mood and how you're feeling that you just want to create a positive mood, to, to keep going, to keep creating and working towards your short and long-term goals. Now, for the month of May, I did Mermaid, which is a creating challenge I have done several, several times, and I got bored, and that is dangerous. So I should have picked a different challenge for the month of May, um, and that's on me and I hadn't realized that doing something, you know, that many times year after year after year, I would get bored. And I did. Even using my favorite supplies and incorporating a metallic and changing my style throughout the sketchbook, I absolutely got bored and wanted to give up. So being underwhelmed is just as dangerous as being overwhelmed. And the thing with the no buy is you want to create the sort of momentum that keeps you going throughout the year. It has to keep you inspired and motivated to keep progressing. Now in June, I did um, a couple colored pencils and I paired it with weird stickers. And what I did for this challenge is I did a, a sketchbook I'd never used before with a subject matter I've never done before in a drawing challenge. So I learned my lesson hard from May, and in June I did figure drawing. And I've never done figure drawing before, so it was a steep learning curve, and there was a lot to be done. It's nice to feel challenged and try something new, and don't be afraid to do that, to try a different subject matter that you're not familiar with 
and give it a go and incorporate some things that bring you small amounts of joy. It keeps you from wanting to buy other supplies if you're having fun with what you have and you're mixing and matching in ways you hadn't normally done that. Now for July, I had purchased a bunch of granulating watercolors and I paired them with the Micron. Now I had not used these watercolors before but I know the brands. I'm familiar with all of them. They're all artist grade. We have M. Graham in here, Daniel Smith, Windsor Newton, Museum Aquilel. There's a bunch of Schmincke. There's a bunch of really, really good Da Vinci brands in here. But I'd never done granulating watercolors before and I'd never watercolored dinosaurs before. And in doing both those two things together, it kept it interesting and exciting. And I did heavy ink so there's a black and white portion and only the dinosaurs are colored. Just spice up the way you create, spice up your subject matter. I love doing animals, but I chose to do dinosaurs because it was so unique. And that was a ton of fun. And that kept me from wanting and lingering too much and wanting to purchase other things. Now for August, because I make the same mistake over and over and expect different results, I had purchased the Conte of Paris these are, you know, some of their pastel pencils. Um, I love rich browns. These again are scratchy. They didn't quite deliver what I wanted. But what kept me going with this is one, I was do drawing my favorite subject matter, which is absolute animals. And two, I was using up my oldest sketchbook that I had just sitting around. Now all the sketchbooks I have left, that are unfilled are from last year. So I don't have any old sketchbooks anymore. And that keeps you going and motivated. You have to find unique and interesting ways to sort of challenge yourself within creating and drawing. So for September, I went absolutely bananas. I wanted to create an art journal and I wanted it to be mixed media. This is vellum and postcard, little bits and sheets. I have um, constellation sort of cards that I ripped up. I have this sticker book. I have this sticker box. I paired it with watercolors and then tons of different metallic inks. I just got absolutely weird with it and created the most unusual combination I could. Something happened like over the summer and I started to get restless and bored. And bored led me to sort of boredom scrolling and wanting to purchase again. So combining supplies and things you wouldn't normally combine into a sketchbook or creating something unique like an art journal is a great way to keep you from purchasing new supplies because you look at everything you have when you combine it differently in new and exciting ways. And that'll keep you motivated and that'll keep you going. And this made an absolute mess which is why in October, <clears throat> I just went back to my favorites. So indigo is just my favorite. And in this combination, it is mixed with black. So it is completely light fast. And <clears throat> I just did all my spooky Halloween watercolors. And I tried to incorporate as many animals as possible because I love them so much. And that's my comfort place with my favorite color. Play favorites use the supplies and the colors you enjoy using the most. If you find yourself doing the same thing month after month after month and you're still excited and you're still motivated and you have no desire to purchase anything else, keep going with it. If it's working for you, then it works. If it's completely different than mine, but you are feeling motivated and inspired and don't want to purchase anything, then it's a success. Everybody's journey is going to look a little bit different. For November, <laughs> charcoal <laughs> one little stick like what can one little stick do and I it's kind of magical and it's you know historical a lot of folks have used charcoal throughout the ages and I am doing portraits and it's just been a lot of fun yeah I'm not a big fan of spray fixative but cycling through all my supplies, keeping an inventory, checking off to make sure that I'm using everything I have and everything I own in itself feels like money well spent. So even though I have some supplies that aren't my favorite, I'm still using everything and combining things and really just enjoying things. Sometimes I get wild and incorporate as much as possible and then I take it back and I do as little as possible and see how I can stretch and challenge that. Um, December, I am using this. The Derwent XL Blocks. I haven't used these in over a year. 
and I'm combining them with a turquoise pilot pen because it's the weirdest combination that I could think of. And does it look weird? Absolutely. I'm also incorporating um, a Uniball Signo Metallic. Just it, and I'm doing birds. Again, again with the animals. Do what you love and you will keep being inspired and motivated. The goal here, the trick for this, is to cycle through all your stuff. Make an inventory list. I know I've said that like five times. It's, I'm just gonna always say that. That's the single most important thing you can do. And then check off as you use things and figure out how you can combine things in weird and wonderful ways to make your supplies feel new. And if your supplies are feeling new, you're gonna be excited. And if you feel excited, you're gonna be motivated not to keep purchasing. That is the goal here. The years, the years are short, but the days are long. And some days, if you're creating with supplies that just aren't doing it for you, spice it up. Don't be afraid to grab whatever you can on hand and mix them all together and see what you can create with some of these fun things. Um, I hope this video helps. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.